Dan, you're back. How was the trip? Did Danny get to see her mom? We were too late. What do you mean you were too late? By the time I got Todd and Danny down there, she was already gone. Danny didn't even get to say goodbye. I'm sorry, Dave. I tried my hardest. It, it just wasn't good enough. I'm hey, sorry. You did your best, bro. Greg, what are you doing here? Uh, I dropped by the house to see Mom and Dad before heading to the hospital. They said that Des might be here. That's not what I mean. What are you doing back in Landview at all? Weren't you going to personally escort Taya's ashes back? Yes, Sean, but... So where are they? Where's Taya? The cremation was going to take a little longer than expected, and there was business at the hospital that couldn't wait. I arranged to have the remains shipped securely. Shipped securely? What does that mean? A couple of extra bucks for insurance? No, it means you don't have to worry about it. I've taken full responsibility for everything. Like you took responsibility for Taya before she died. Sean! What? Why are you acting like that? Like what? No, it's okay. No, it's not. It is not Greg's fault that Taya died. She had a brain tumor. She also had a doctor who kept her away from the people she loved the most. That's what she wanted. Look, it's terrible that she died. But you're making it worse by finding someone to blame. No, wait, it's okay, Jess. It's been a hard few weeks for everyone. But maybe we could set our differences aside and focus on what's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I was, I was way out of line. And I'm sorry that Todd and Danny couldn't get there sooner, Sha. Taya held on as long as she could. Was she in pain? No. I made sure she was comfortable. It was, uh... It was very peaceful. What about Danny? How is she? She's hurting bad. Man. Have you even slept? I just couldn't. Danny's mom was a good person. Why did she have to go out like that? Life isn't fair sometimes, Dan. But Danny's been through so much. And now this. Wish you could make it easier for her. Wait. Maybe we can't. What are you thinking? in on her while she's in pain. But I want Danny to know that she still has us, you know? Yeah. I'm just worried she's totally lost right now. And her dad loves her mom so much, they probably don't know what to do. So they eat. What? Look, folks get tunnel vision when something bad goes down. That's all they can focus on. They forget to do everything else. Like when you were in that coma. I remember mom stood up one time and she almost passed out. She hadn't had any food all day. So we're going to order everything on the menu, bring it over to them, and stuff their faces. Even Freak Show has to eat. I don't know if it's a good time for them. It never will be. Listen, Dee. I think it's a great idea. And it's on me. It was a nice gesture. Well, it was the least I could do, seeing as how I failed at everything else. Oh, look who's back. Later, Sean. Viv. See you around. Something I said? It's not you. Eli, call me back. We need to talk about Teodogato's death. 